Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great. In the last video, we talked about the CSS gradients, background, and animation. In this video, we will talk about how to use CSS for the buttons. So, uh, without further delay, let's get started. I will add a simple button first um, so that we can use CSS on this. Um, the second step, as you know, is to assign a CSS class. Now, there are two options here. You can either use the global CSS class, which is dot button and the button label. And if you use these classes, you can change the um, style of all the buttons across your website. These CSS classes, dot button and button label, applies to all the buttons of the website. However, if you want to just apply the CSS to certain button elements, you can give them a specific CSS class. So, for example, I'm going to call it button one, all right, just as an example. Um, after that, to apply the CSS, we have to open the global CSS file. And let's start adding some CSS code to this button. So, as usual, we have to first uh, write down the CSS class. We have the button one, then curly bracket. And now we can start writing the CSS for this button. So the first element we will uh, use is the font family, which specifies the font used in this button. So I'm going to go with the very basic font. You can choose all these fonts or you can write your own. Either one is cool. Um, in the next line, we are going to add the size of the font. So for that, you have to write font size. You have all these options. You can use all of them. Um, so for the font size, I'm going to use 16 pixels. Um, another example is the font weight. So you can either write the uh, font weight number or just make it bold okay so after that we have the uh, text transform and uh, in the transform you can make all the letters uppercase or some similar transformation effect for the text we also have another important um, function here which is the letter spacing and basically it creates a space between the characters all right so uh, for example let's use one pixel another function is the padding to create some uh, distance so let's add 10 pixel and 20 pixel which are the size parameters and we also use border a lot in our uh, button. So we are going to uh, add some border as well. So let's add two pixel and a solid color. So to add the color, you have to write solid followed by the color. So for example, let's give it this color. You can also write your own color uh, codes as well. Either one is cool. Another function is the border radius, often used in the buttons. So if you want to add the border radius, you have to write the border radius function. And after that, simply write the value. Let's add five pixels. And after that, very important, the background color. Um, one very important function of the CSS for button is the background. Now here you can use an image as a background, a gradient, or a simple solid color. So let me show you each of them one by one. So first let's add a simple color. So for that you have to write background color and just write your code or simply the color name. So let's add sky blue. So this is one way to add the color in your button. Um, another popular element is the background gradients. So let's add that as well. To add the background gradient, you have to write back 
background. And here you can use linear or radial gradient, whatever kind of gradients you want. Just like the uh, last tutorial, we have to add the direction. And here you can uh, pick the gradient color from the website uibackgrounds.com. So go to the website and let's pick a cool gradient color. Let's use uh, this one. So copy the color code, paste it, comma, next color and the final color like this and as you can see we now have the uh, gradient as a background for this uh, button you can also set this as a radial gradient so go here and in the direction right circle and now you have a radial gradient uh, let's use some other gradient color for this something that is uh, much more visible okay let's use this one You can add as many color as you want in the gradient. All right, so as you can see, we now have the uh, gradient as a background. Um, you can also set an image as a background. All you have to do is uh, add the background image function. Um, I will drop its link in the description. And basically goes here, you have to add the URL and in the comma, the uh, URL of the image. Very easy to do. Uh, but I won't recommend it because that affects the performance of the web page. So gradient is cool. Um, you can add animations if you want, just like we did in the last uh, video. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to the next parameter. I'm going to change the background gradient. I don't like this one. All right, so these are for the background. You can set gradient or image or solid color. Next up, we have the color of the text. So for that, we have to uh, simply add the color function so add the color you can either uh, type the name of the color or simple code um, you can also uh, write triple f here the color code for white and it will set a white color for the text um, another option we have is the text align that sets the alignment of the text in the button so we have the text align here and let's set it to center let's also add an animation when we uh, hover the mouse on the button to make some cool uh, animation so for that we have to add the transition function so add transition and let's add background color here we will set the timing of the uh, transition so for the background we will set 0 0.3 seconds and same for the color and the border color as well all right so we have set the uh, time period of the transition now let's add the animation when we hover the mouse um, on this button so in order to do that you have to add the button one and then add the hover function like this and once again, we will go with the semicolon to add the CSS. So here we can add the uh, condition when we hover the mouse. So for example, you can just copy the uh, background gradient here. And uh, let's change the color or you can change anything you want in here. And it will be uh, effective when we hover the mouse. 
So let's change the gradient to uh, something else. Now let's change this one to uh, simple white. Let's also change the color of the border. So select the border color and let's set it to red for example. Now if you go to the preview, you will see the effect on the button like this. So uh, in the hover state, you can change all the parameters, anything you want. Um, let's increase the transition of the button color. And let's set it to, let's set it to a linear gradient. So this is how you can use CSS to add advanced styles in your button. You can change all the parameters in your hover state. We also have the active state, so you can just replace the hover with active and make the changes however you want. You can also add the uh, animation using the uh, keyframes like you learned in the last example. And you can do whatever you want using the CSS. So I will drop a link in the description where you can find uh, all the possible uh, CSS functions that you can use for the buttons and all you have to do is just replace some uh, values and you can make some cool styles for your button. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.